Hi there, Mitch. Bill DeVash, your firm security. Mr. Locke and Mr. Lambert were telling me about your little run-in with the FBI. I wonder if we could have a little talk. Actually, I told them everything. I'm sure you did. This won't take a minute. Hop in. This is a debriefing. I know pretty much what you told the fellas, so I kind of got the picture. Now it's my job to give you the picture. What I'm concerned about, son, is this. The FBI wouldn't come after you if they didn't figure they'd get to you. What do you suppose made them think that? I have no idea. Well, see, it's my job to have an idea about that. For example, they might know how important your young wife is to you, and they might choose that. How? Avery says last Friday you took the afternoon off. He figures you might have been with another woman. Why would Avery How do you think... know you weren't followed? Here's your Abby, one day walking to the mailbox, anticipating the arrival of her red book, her sharper image catalog. What does she find instead? Mine's heartache, Mitch. The death of love and trust. Imagine her one day opening that. Go ahead, take a look. Devastating. Not just screwing, Mitch. But the kind of intimate acts, oral and whatnot. It could be particularly hard for a trusting young wife to forgive and impossible to forget. That's just the kind of stuff the FBI could use for coercion, Mitch. So you watch yourself. I'll do the best I can to protect you. And I know you'll do your best to protect the firm. So if the FBI so much as spits in your direction, You'll let me know before it hits the ground, won't you? <laughs> won't you, Mitch? Oliver wants to see you right now in the library. Where you been? Or let me just put my coat away. Right now. He's been waiting. think you're pretty smart, don't you? Well, we've been informed that somebody's smarter. You didn't get the highest score in the bar exam. You got the second highest score. Congratulations. They called you, huh? Uh, guilty, Your Honor. I, I did. Well, it's your moment of glory. You know, my wife missed mine, and uh, she never forgave herself. I wouldn't want that to happen to you. That's very considerate, Avery. Oh, I thought so. Well done. Well done. Quite an achievement, Mitch. Abby. <laughs> 